Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you will never fail. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you'll never fail. Hello, my loves, and welcome back into my kitchen. My name is Gabrielle Reyes, aka One Great Vegan. And this is my chocolate chip king, my beloved best friend, my right hand man, my photographer, my videographer, my music maker, my lover, my homeboy, yeah. my everything, my yeah. sun, my stars, uh, my smooth, yeah. my air, my Preach. breath, my life. Yeah my boy ace anderson what's going on y'all <laughs> what's good it's your boy ace boogie artist plant eater and truth speaker and i'm here to cook with my love <laughs> yes my, yes my this recipe we're creating today is jamaican mushroom oxtail and this is actually a recipe that came from ace's culture ace is 100 percent jamaican i am half haitian and together we veganized and made this recipe vibrant for yeah. you all today so you want to get cooking, baby? Let's do it. We've already washed our hands, so y'all know, sing the song, do the dance, wash your hands. But we're going to get cooking and get going, get glowing. So let's get in the kitchen, let's baby. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. Hey. You know with this dish, hey. you will never fail. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish, you'll never fail. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. Hey. You know with this dish, you'll never fail. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. Oh, also, fun fact, we are in Halloween costumes today. Yeah. I am a caramel queen. And I am the chocolate chip king. Chocolate chip king. And we make a dynamic duo, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? We make a what very delicious dessert. What kind of dishes do we make, baby? Uh, caramel covered chocolate chunk brownies. Can't help myself whenever they're around me. Hey. Caramel covered chocolate chunk brownies. Can't help myself whenever they're around me. Hey. Together, something that's delicious. What that's what we make it. Well, that's how we're making right now. In the kitchen. What was the song we came up with? Bobbing in the kitchen. Bobbing in the kitchen. Hey, oh, oh, Bobbing in, in the kitchen. We're bobbing in the kitchen. Hey, Bobbing in the kitchen. We're bobbing in the kitchen. Hey, 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 we're bobbing in the kitchen. We're bobbing in the kitchen. We're bobbing in the kitchen. Whoa. We're bobbing in the kitchen. And as we vibe in the kitchen, the first ingredient y'all gonna add in to make your Jamaican mushroom oxtail is some coconut oil. Mm. And we're gonna saute down some onions, as well as some green onions, some garlic, mm -hmm. some scotch butter. But y'all wanna make sure for this recipe that you have some dried mm. mushrooms that have been soaking in something delicious, y'all. Yeah, and when I say something delicious, I mean water. Get yourself some dried mushrooms and soak them in some water, and y'all gonna have meaty goodness. Yeah, this right here man, gonna turn into this, mm, is, mm. this right here is so good, man. This mm. right, mm, we gonna mm. eat this. We gonna season yeah. that up real nice, y'all. Yes, so baby. let's get going. Oh, the other mushroom we have as well. These mushrooms right here. These are coral mushrooms, and these have like a nice fatty texture to them that I really, really like. So we're gonna use these as well, and we're gonna marinate all of this. And baby, I'm gonna let you actually work on the marinade while I work myself on that onion and that garlic and that everything nice. So, the, do you wanna work on the marinade? I mean, I, I feel like I should be manning the, 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 the stove, you know oh. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, we can do it all. We can we literally do, do all. all things through Christ yes, and also through mush mushrooms. Mushroom, mushrooms. 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 Mushrooms strengthens me. All right, so what we're going to do to soak our mushrooms, and you want to give these a nice good soak for about like 10 minutes, I would say. Get all that seasoning and that spice up in there. So I'm going to be combining together my mushrooms that are not dry, my coral mushrooms, as well mm -hmm. as my dried mushrooms. So let me just grab these out right here. Give them a squeeze. Mm. Get all that excess water out. Mm. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Mushrooms. 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 Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, we got our dried mushrooms in the pot. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to combine some of the key ingredients for the Jamaican oxtail. And what we have here first is some veggie broth. This is going to be the base for that nice marinade. Why don't you um, talk me through it, baby? And then I can, as you, you know, as yes, you explain I'm it, not I you, can baby, do come it. On, you know put what your hands in there. Baby. Baby. Come on. All right, anyway, so we just put in our veggie broth, and the next thing you're gonna add in is some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Hey, Worcestershire sauce. Don't know how to pronounce it. Worcestershire sauce. Something like that. Worcestershire sauce. If you know how to pronounce Worcestershire sauce, you should let us know in the comments below because we do not know how to pronounce it whatsoever. So let's add in two tablespoons of W sauce, as you will. So there we go. That's like one table. Oh, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Let the spirit speak to you. Mm. It's already smelling good up in this hood, you know what I'm saying? I might have to take off this jacket. You know what I mean? The king has to disrobe for a quick second. Yeah. To get cooking. Get, get cooking. cooking. Watch me get, get cooking. cooking. Get going. Hey. Cooking in the kitchen. Get going. Cooking in the kitchen. Hey. So, baby, I thought you were actually helping me cook this, not taking I was. Oh, I was going to oh. take a snap of photo, quick photo or two. <laughs> okay. She's so, going to thank me for the photos after this. That's right. right. So, that's how great. much we put in So, I would add in about two and a half tablespoons right, so of that liquid last amino. Time we did two tablespoons of So, there you go. That's, that's keep, more. Keep, that's no, you can keep going, baby. Keep going. Oh. Liquid aminos hey. keep coming. Hey. Keep, keep coming. Keep, keep, liquid hey. keep aminos going. keep coming. Like keep coming. Well, we got a lot of mushrooms, so it'll uh, yeah, yeah, spread yeah, itself yeah, out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get up in there. Get up in there. Uh -huh. All right. Ooh. The other thing we're gonna need is maple syrup. one tablespoon of our maple syrup. Give it a nice drizzle so it gets on mm. all. Ooh, ooh, all right, all right, go in, go all in, right. brother. That's Come good. on, that's fine. No, that's we good. 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 We, don't, we don't need no more. No more maple ooh. syrup, brother. Now we have some garlic mm. powder. We also are gonna use some fresh garlic in this recipe as well, mm. but we got some garlic powder, and I'm gonna be adding in about two tablespoons of that garlic powder. And we're gonna mix this all together so make sure everything gets mm. soaked in that so good. good. The other thing, you know we love allspice. Allspice, 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 it's all right. Well, I tried to make it rhyme. It's all right. It's all right to have some allspice. It's it's more than all right to have some allspice, as a matter of fact. So you're going to be wanting to add in about one-fourth of a tablespoon. One-fourth of a tablespoon. See, you know what I like about you, baby? She be saying, you know, different measurements, but we don't even need to. We don't even really don't even need, need to measure at this like, point. But that's what, like a lot of people get stressed out about, like, you know, how much measure, how much you got. I don't want to measure things to cook. You don't really have to. You just don't worry kinda about do it to taste. Exactly. Do it to taste. The other thing we have here is some black pepper and salt. Lunch. Grab that salt for me, baby. Pink Himalayan salt. All right. We're going to do it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, let's do it at the yeah. same time. Here we go. All right. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. You right. can add a little bit more. There we go. All right, so I would say add in no more than one fourth tablespoon of some salt because there's already those liquid liquid aminos in there. And we didn't even talk about the liquid aminos. Y'all, liquid aminos, if you don't know what liquid aminos are, these are basically the, so the gluten-free version of soy sauce. So a lot of soy sauces... So we sassy have gluten in them, but this right here don't have no gluten. It's just pure soy. And also has some ingredients in the yard that gonna make you feel good and just be good inside those mushrooms. Really dig into all those layers and mm. just load it on up. All right. So the other thing we're gonna add in here, we already added in our salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And the thing we have here, I actually think this is brand spanking new. This is some tomato ketchup with specifically no high fructose corn syrup. Nah. We avoid high fructose corn syrup like it's COVID, okay? <laughs> COVID-19 is the same thing to us as high fructose corn syrup because it makes us feel like drowsy and yeah. drowsy and just slow and lethargic. So we just, just cut that bad. out. 
all bad no good so we just cut that out but what's dope is so many different grocery stores will have an option that's their you know in store brand and it's not much more expensive than the high fructose corn syrup version so just so y'all know a little tip for your lip you know what i'm saying all right let's add in a squeeze of some ketchup uh, ooh, some of that water came out at the very beginning I would say one tablespoon will be just yeah, fine. And next, baby, I will let you do the honors of mixing mm. this all together. Get that all. You never asked. Yes, get all those mushrooms mm. mixed up in your bowl. Mm. Mushrooms mixed up in your bowl. Oh, oh. Mushroom marinade in your bowl. Mushroom marinade. Mixed up in your bowl. Hey. Mushroom marinade mixed up in your bowl. Mushroom marinade mixed up in your bowl. Hey. Baby, I think that is beautiful. I think oh, we man. are good to go nice. with that. So we're going to let these marinate for a little bit. Yeah, press it down into all those mm -hmm. juices we put up in there. Mm. Mushroom marinade, mix it in your bowl. Mushroom marinade, mix it in your bowl. All right, you're good, baby. We'll just set this over to the side just like that. And next, we're going to move on to start really sauteing all of our ingredients. What you want to start off with, we have our coconut oil nice and hot in our pan. And you know how we're going to start this off, y'all onions and oil that's how i like to start off most of my recipes especially any caribbean or haitian recipe you're going to be starting off with garlic or onion for the most part also a ton of like latin infused recipes you're going to be starting off with that red onion but today we're going to be using a white onion you can also use a yellow onion if you want to or a sweet white onion honestly just any kind of white or yellow onion will be perfectly fine mm -hmm. and we're gonna let these start to saute down we're probably gonna put a little bit of salt in there along the way and then we're gonna be adding in our scotch bonnet as well as our garlic and our, our carrots in there too I forgot we gotta let those carrots cook on down too so my love why don't you grab me a little bit of salt and then we'll add on a little bit of salt up in here to our onions Ooh, and this is already gonna start making this whole recipe just smell taste good your kitchen's already gonna just start smelling like home cooking once you got your onions and your salt and your oil in the pot as well. So baby, while we're letting this all cook on down, mm -hmm. talk to me about this recipe. Like, what do you think really makes a true Jamaican oxtail recipe? <laughs> well, you know, it's really, uh, like, what's nice about it, or what I remember is the fattiness of the beef, you know? Um, so we can really achieve that from the oyster mushrooms as well as the, what are these new ones called? Coral mushrooms. These coral mushrooms too, because that one actually, it it kind of gets a little water, like, I don't know how to explain it's it. Fatty. It's fatty. It tastes it's literally, literally fatty. like fat, like animal fat. It's weird. It kind of freaked me out at first yeah. when we put it in tacos, and it was, yeah, it was but really all, good. All that mushrooms are missing is the salty element, so that's why we're soaking it in the marinade to really get it to get those juices inside of it so when you bite into it all of that that rich flavor melts into your mouth mm -hmm. and boy they're gonna melt yeah. gonna melt down okay next i'm gonna be adding in some chopped up carrots about mm -hmm. one cup of some carrots and this is gonna be the main ingredient the main vegetable that's actually gonna need to cook down in this recipe we're also going to be adding in our mushrooms and sauteing them down a little bit in the pan before we add in our broth we're testing out this kind of experiment today but we love yeah. sauteed mushrooms and we want them just a little bit crispier than the last time we made this mm -hmm. recipe so we just want them a little bit more tender uh and mixed in with the with the flavors mm -hmm. and i think if we add in the if we add in the liquids too early then it can water down the the texture, that saltiness that you want inside of the mushrooms. 
Saltiness. And I mm. love, I love salt. To be honest, I'm a salty girl. I also love sweets, though. I have a big sweet tooth in my spirit and my soul. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby, get up in there. Take some, oh, as I fling it onto myself. <laughs> there we go. We're sauteing down the chopped up carrots with our onions as well as our coconut oil. And y'all, it already smells so bomb. Hopefully, you're at home cooking along with me and you have all these recipes. You can get yourself going and growing and making yourself some fierce Jamaican mushroom mocktail. You know with this dish you will never fail. Jamaican mushroom mocktail. You know with this dish you'll never fail. Guaranteed, because it's such a simple recipe. It's easy. You just pop everything in there, and those flavors, your whole family will be like, I didn't know I wanted to eat this, but now this is what I'm going to be eating. Okay, so now that we have our kit, ooh, hello. Ooh, hey, what up? <laughs> hello, hello. All right, now that we have Ace back in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and we have our carrots starting to saute down, the next ingredient you're gonna want to add in is some minced up garlic. I'm adding in about one and a half tablespoons. Why don't you saute that down for me, baby? And just so y'all know, sometimes, I'll pop on over here. <laughs> Sometimes garlic tends to burn quicker. So I would make sure that your pan or your stove top is on a medium heat, not too high, just to make sure that it doesn't burn, baby, burn. And then that just doesn't make the whole recipe taste good. Yeah, you so, just want to cook them enough so that the flavor falls out of them. And then there's juices mixed into the rest of the food. But if you cook it too hot on too high, it just burns the garlic and then it's useless. Anyway. Facts on <laughs> snacks on packs. All right, so we have our garlic in there. And y'all, if you have never had a habanero pepper or a scotch bonnet pepper, this recipe is probably one of my favorite ones to incorporate the scotch bonnet or the habanero, whatever you call it. I have minced up some scotch bonnet pepper, and this is a very spicy yet sweet pepper. It really makes the whole dish for me personally. It really makes it like a true Caribbean dish with that scotch bonnet. I've diced it up, and I actually suggest doing this either in a food processor or with gloves on because you do not want to touch your face after you chopped up yeah, some scotch bonnet pepper. You don't want to touch anything. Actually. No. In fact, you probably don't want to really breathe this in as it's cooking because it's going to make you cough. So let's add it in. There we go. I'm adding in about less than one tablespoon. I would say about one fourth to one half tablespoon, depending on your spice situation, how much you can handle. I know some people, they ain't about that spice life. And as my beloved best friend and husband is mixing in all of our goodies, I have some green onion here, and I'm going to be adding in some chopped green onion straight into my pan. I'm just using some scissors to cut it. This is my favorite way to chop up green onion. And I'm adding in about one third of a cup of this chopped green onion. And it's just gonna give it vibrancy, and of course, seasoning and spices. Get it, baby. Get it, get it. Hey, seasoning and spices. Yeah. All right, we can turn this up just a little bit now that we are getting going and growing and glowing. And the other ingredient that you're going to be adding into your pan as everything is sauteing down as we prepare to put in our mushrooms, you're going to want to get yourself some thyme, thyme, thyme. Whoa, whoa. Thyme, thyme, thyme. Whoa, whoa. Or dry if you want to for this recipe. We prefer fresh. We prefer fresh, yeah. but we couldn't find we couldn't any find today, any. so we're gonna be using some dry thyme. I'm adding in about one and a half tablespoon. Oh well. It's gonna go on the mushrooms too. Ace said that's too much. A little too much time. A little too much time. Too now, much time. He's impatient. He's impatient. <laughs> he says no. It's too much time. I need it now. All right, so as he sautés that up, let's check in on our mushrooms. Jamaican mushroom oxtail, you know with this dish you will never fail. Oh, look at this fatty mushroom right here. It is soaked 
and season in our marinade my loves and we about to saute these babies down look mm. at her look at that we're about to put that into some seasoning and make mm. her all Sometimes kinds of delicious look at, look at that look at that mm. Mm. jamaican mm. mushroom oxtail mm. that's gonna be the cover photo for this youtube video <laughs> us doing this holding random pieces as high as we can <laughs> exactly so you think it's time to add in some mushrooms yeah. and saute them up. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna just start putting these in. Typically, I would use some tongs, but we all friends and family here today. Mm -hmm. So let me get that sauteed. And I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit to make sure we get these nice and brown. Oh, these are so chunky, I love it. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't put that excess liquid in it just, just yet. We'll yet. put that yeah. liquid in there in just a little bit. Yeah, so what she's doing is taking them out individually that way they cook on, they touch the bottom of the pan and then they cook down with the juices from the onion and the carrots and the thyme, um, as well as them soaked already in the marinade. Yes. Saute the mushrooms down. You could probably Saute scoop them out, baby. So yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Lift your hand like that? Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure there's no liquid on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get as least liquid as I can. Right. All right, y'all, this is so meaty. Y'all gonna be like, this is meat. And we're gonna be like, no, it's not. And then you're gonna be like, dang girl, but you made it look good. And I know it tastes good too. Mm -mm. We've been craving this dish for a know, long, for, for like, so long, how long though. would you say we've been wanting to make this? Um, I mean, since we met, for sure. Uh, we yeah, for real. We've been talking about making yeah. it in Jamaican. And then we finally made Austin. it, what, in August? In August. And you know, funny story, we actually shot a whole YouTube video making Jamaican mushroom oxtail, mm -hmm. and it didn't save to his phone. And I was like, Come but on, we got all the photos. We did have We the got photos, all the so photos. That's the photos that y'all saw. That's so. the photos that we seen in our old home. I miss that home. Oh. It was so beautiful. Oh, these are so marinated. I can see all that yeah. seasoning in them. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's about to go down in flavor town. Mm. I'm excited. Two. I'm excited. Oh. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. To eat. 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 I'm excited to eat. I'm excited to eat. I can't hide it to eat. I can't hide it to eat. I'm excited to eat. <laughs> I just can't hide it. I'm so excited to yes. eat. Yeah, we get really pumped about eating food because all the food we eat is so flavorful and mm. so just mm, delight. Mm, these mushrooms looking good. Mm, they looking mm. meaty, meaty mushroom. All right, there we go. We have all of our marinated mushrooms in our pan. Mm. Okay. Marinated mushroom sauteing in the pan. 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 And we're going to try to get them as crispy as we can. And we've saved all of this liquid marinade. I'm going to use this basically as the broth to soak in also mm -hmm. to our lima beans. What's the other word for these lima beans? Butter, butter beans. Butter, butter beans. beans. Which we learned recently that butter beans and lima beans are the same thing. I didn't realize that, but I love them. They're also really nice to bake like them up. I feel like different, there's like some mm. difference. Isn't there? No, no, they're called the same thing. It's like chickpeas and garbanzo beans. Mm. Basically the same mm. thing. Mm. All right. What you think, baby? I'm thinking these are good. I, we don't need to get them crispy. We just need to get them to, like, you know, we want those juices to cook into them. I think mm -hmm. we're good. I think we're going to stop pouring, pouring in some of this? this yeah. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Pour that. Oh. I'm going to let y'all see that pour. Oh, mm. look at that pour. Look at that pork. Yes. Oh, there was some rogue mushrooms in there, mm. too. They'll get cooked on up as well. All right. Okay, go in, baby. Go on mm. in. So we are almost about done. All we have to do now is just cook up all of these mushrooms, let it soak in that stew, and here's what we're going to do. We got a top right here. We're just going to plop this top mm. right on top. Mm. Plop this top right on top. I rhyme top with top. I don't know if y'all knew you could do that, but you can rhyme top with top. Hello, Papa D. Come on in, come on in. 
My parents just got home from their Halloween excursion. He does have a wig in his hand. So y'all prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for that. So what we can work on while this is cooking down is where is our veggie broth? Can you veggie grab me that veggie broth? What? Oh, yeah, veggie broth, right there. So I have right some cornstarch right here, uh -huh. and I also have some veggie broth. And I'm just going to be using about two tablespoons of some cornstarch. And you want to make sure that you mix it in a separate bowl. You don't want to mix it in your uh, in your pot because, or else it'll get like clumpy and it won't be fun at all. So I'm going to whisk this up. Whisk it a bit. Whisk, whisk it a bit. bit. Whisk it a bit. Whisk it a bit. We whisk it a bit. Whisk it a bit. Whisk it a bit. Whisk whisk it a bit. Hey. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Come, oh, on, come, let on, let come on, let the people see. Let the people see. What are you dressed as? <laughs> well, if I had an accordion, I'd be Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, yes. If I had a guitar, I would be Slash. Oh. <laughs> Either one, pick your instrument. Kind exactly. Of. exactly. Oh, fierce. We're making Jamaican mushroom oxtail. Mm, Look yeah. at that meaty goodness. Mm, mm. Mm. Well, it could be Bob Marley. Yes, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So good. You could be all so things. Good. All things. Okay, I mushrooms. don't want to get any hair in here. Yeah, right. So. And it's spicy too, so you're gonna start hair. feeling that spice on your face. Mmm. Mm. 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 Smell it in. Soak it. And we got yeah. also Jamaican you rice. Like a witch too. now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Boil and boil and doil and I don't know what exactly they say over the brew, but we're going to be adding in our mixed up cornstarch with veggie broth, Great pouring bit. on in there. Mm. It's going to get it nice and thickened up. Mm. And that's what you want. You want this stew nice and, and thick. It looks so good. I know. It looks look just like mama used to make. Yes, like Mama will be proud. Mama will be so proud. Be so proud. Mm. Oh. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you will never count. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you'll never fail. season them and bake them for like a nice crispy treat if you want to and or you can like use them basically the same way you use chickpeas you can make like falafel with these you can mash them up until oh a falafel burger would be so delicious so we're gonna be popping these in there at the very end just to get them nice and warm you don't need to overcook these because these butter beans are already cooked all right you ready baby we ready baby we ready baby Ooh, and we also have that rice and peas that I was oh, talking yes. about. Do you want to go grab the yeah, Instant Pot? Yes. Bring it on rice over. And mm, rice and peas. Hopefully, y'all have already made this recipe. This is basically... It has two minutes. Oh, wait, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Just unplug it, my love. Oh, we lying. We lying. You lying? You lying to me? I ain't lying. I'm lying, I'm dying. All right, she's already cooked on up. You see? Mm. Look at that. Mm. Our beautiful rice. Uh, and I'm going to get myself a little plate so I can feel great. And so I can feel great. So get myself a plate so I can feel great. Get myself a plate so I can feel great. Get myself a plate so I can feel great. Get myself a plate, so I can feel great. Get myself a plate, so I can feel great. 
get my silver plate. What? So I can feel great. Yes. Oh, this rice is beautiful. Ooh, yeah, Truly, it is a nice. seed. Ooh, I'm going to let them see mm. this, baby, while you serve mm. yourself up. I'm going to let my people mm. see. What's up? Y'all, check it out. Jamaican rice and peas. Hey. Mm, so flavorful. This is seasoned with some coconut in here, as well as some thyme, some uh, chopped up onions, of course, and then mm, just so fresh, so wonderful. And this is honestly bomb and everything. You can make like burrito bowls with this, just to season it. Mm. And this rice came out perfect. I ain't gonna lie, look at how fluffy this is. Mm. This is the power of an instant pot, my loves. So let's give it a go. Well, Ace serves himself up. Where, 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 where is the fork? Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 Stay in the lap. Stay in the lap. Mmm. 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 The other thing that really helps this whole recipe come together is that habanero scotch bonnet pepper. Always. Mmm. 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 And the kidney beans, these are canned mm -hmm. kidney beans that we use. You can use them for fresh if you want to. Use them dried and then cook them yourself. They'll taste even better if you do it that way. But we use canned today because your girl had other things yeah, to do. We're trying to make a video for y'all. We're trying to make a video for y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, and, use that fresh if you got it because it's best. Mm. So I'm, I'm ready to load this on up, I think, with some other delicious things, baby. Oh, snap. I mean, I could just eat this. Oh, snap. But some I think... other delicious things for the yes. on my plate. Yes. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We're feeling the spirit because y'all. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. And all Brothers and sisters, sisters, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, let's let us gather here today. Let us gather here today. Get on this of goodness that oh. I'm about to put on my plate right here. Mm. You want to serve my baby, or you want to get some more rice? You do your baby? thing, baby. You do your thing. Mm. I'm gonna get some more rice. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you will never fail. Mm. Jamaican mm. mushroom. Yeah, you know what I just forgot were the beans. I forgot the beans, y'all. Oh, How could shit. I forget those beans that I are so bountiful? We are adding in. We're so excited. We're I so know, excited so about excited. the food. Like, we just wanted to eat it. We just want to get to the eating part. But before we get to the eating part, we're going to be adding in our butter beans straight into mm. our pan. And then we're just gonna mix everything up, and I'm gonna get myself some butter beans, even though I already served myself. I'm gonna get myself some butter beans, cause that's how it's gonna be. Mm. Butter oh, beans. Now a, now, oh, now, now she's a true Jamaican <laughs> mushroom <laughs> oxtail <laughs> oven. No coconut milk in this recipe, baby. Mm. Ooh, now let me get myself some of these beans. These butter beans, beans just made it better. Mm. Oh now, yes, beautiful. Now, Yes, of course I did the thing there. Really? Oh, look at this meaty goodness. I just had like a small taste, and it's so good. Like I literally just had a small bit. I'm getting more of this mushroom because you know I want that. I'm getting this up in there. I'm getting more okay. of this mushroom. And then always finish off your recipe with a little bit of freshness. We're gonna use the rest of our green onion to just chop up a little bit of freshness on top. Baby, you want some freshness, my love? Green onion for freshness. Oh, all right, let's show the people what we got here, y'all. You saw it here live in the One Great Vegan Kitchen. Yeah, you know what I'm Jamaican mushroom oxtail. Yeah. You know with this dish you will never fail. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you will never fail. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you'll never fail. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful, colorful, musical dish we made here. Baby, you can dig on in. I'm gonna let the people see what's up. 
Look at these mushrooms. Look at those carrots. Look at that green onion. Look at that. Mm. All of that goodness. And Ace is going in. And it in. tastes even better. And it tastes even better. It tastes better than it looks. Oh, look at this meatiness. Look at that. Jamaican mm. mushroom mm -hmm. oxtail. Check mm -hmm. it out. Oh. Check it out. Meaty, fabulous, mm. oh, wonderful, gluten free, vegan, mm. nut free. Of course, it's still hot, baby. Hot mm. and bothered, baby. Mm. 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 Did I just taste what I think I tasted? Did I just taste some? Did I, baby? I know, baby. I know, y'all. This is vegan. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm concerned. We did something magical here. I mean, it is Halloween, so I do think we did mm. create the ultimate witch's brew, the ultimate this Halloween is, meal, right this here. This is sinful. It is sinful, and you can be a little mm. sinful on Halloween. You know mm. what I'm saying? Get your spook on. Get your Jamaican mushroom oxtail going. Growing mm. and glowing. Check it. I want mm -hmm. y'all to see nice, big, mm -hmm. beautiful picture of this right mm -hmm. here, my loves. Get a beautiful sight mm. of all that is mm. right, mm. my loves. Oh, mm. check it out. Check it check out. It check out. it out. Mm. All right, y'all. Well, you know your girl is about to feast on this fabulous dish. So I will see you all next Saturday. I have no idea what I'm cooking up. I think it's probably going to be something like muffin-y, probably like a chocolate spice muffin or something fun like that. But baby, why don't you come on in mm. here and we're gonna sing them out with a little Jamaican mushroom oxtail. Five, six, five, six, six. Jamaican mushroom oxtail, you mm. know. Oh, he was wow. feeling that seasoning and that spice. Feel it, it's baby. It's getting on in there. You know, you can't beatbox and uh, eat at the same no, time. No, I've like, heard that that does not mm. work. But baby, take your time. Mm -hmm. We go, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you that five, six, mm -hmm. seven, and that eight. And let it come on in when you're ready, baby. You just lick those beautiful, juicy lips. And you just let me know when you're ready, baby. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you will never fail. Jamaican mushroom oxtail. You know with this dish you'll never fail. Thank you so much for tuning in, my loves. You can find this recipe at One Great Vegan dot com. And you can also order my musical cookbook that me and my beloved best friend are building literally every single day. And it's gonna have a hundred, over a hundred gluten-free and vegan recipes, songs, videos, everything for your beautiful plant-based heart, my loves. So I will see you all next Saturday. And don't forget at the end of the day to sing your song, do your dance, and speak your truth. Goodbye, my loves. Goodbye.